think that the the influence of Latin culture in this country, as we know it today, is is obvious. Um, I think for the first time in, in, in ever, it's in style to be Latino, right? So of course it's not accepted, but it's actually cool. It's something that people want. You're talking about artists today, like Enrique, who do a half, you know, you do an arena and half of it's general market and half of it's Hispanic. People love Enrique because he brings a girl on stage and he sings, I want to be a hero. And then the rest of the show is in Spanish. <laughs> Pitbull, Pitbull, in essence, is a pop artist. We were just talking about him coming into town and he's going to do a general market show with Keisha, Ke at the, right. Kesha, I'm Keisha. sorry, at the, as a headliner. Um, <clears throat> Same thing with Ricky Martin and the same thing with countless others that we could come up with. So those bridges have already been crossed. Um, I think that those that are composing music today that want to reach mainstream America are now only going to look to add some Latin sizzle to it, but might actually look for a Latin name that's going to sell because that product that is Latino today in age sells. In my new project, you know, it was a little bit international. We would notice the success through the internet like an artist like Jay Alvarez, Faruco, who they'll you know, I released one song and in, in the video and already in that first week they're already at five hundred thousand views. Like what? You know, you have artists that have number three records on the billboard charts that don't even have two hundred thousand views. And then they'll come and perform and the clubs, the promoters don't even care that the song's no longer on the radio. It's not like, you know, Jay Alvarez comes to New York or in the Faruco, and, the, you know, they, they're in high in demand, and you'll see the club packed. And I'm like, I never heard a song on the radio, and they'll sing five songs in the crowd singing, and I'm like, how do you know the song through the internet? Y sí, fue, fue impactando bastante en lo que hoy en día la, la música en los Estados Unidos. De ahí... Como sabemos, cada, cada, X, cada X década o, o tiempo viene un talento nuevo. Me acuerdo cuando hace tiempo nos tocó a nosotros Doro Sólido. Después vino ese grupo Aventura, que también fue, fue otro ejemplo. Y ya venía, ¿me entiendes? Cuando explota Shakira, cuando explota Juanes. De, definitivamente que sí, que sí impactó bastante en lo que es la música en, lo, en los Estados Unidos. Y el principal, la principal cara que eran demasiado, demasiado comerciales, eh, esos tipos de música que mencioné. Days of shuffling CDs to radio stations are over. Uh, the days of, of now shuffling digital, you know, files to radio stations are here. And um, instead of Hochi's guys having to do it and his goons, um, <laughs> Now, actual up-and-coming artists can do it themselves, and perhaps producers could be the judge of it, judges of it, should uh, somebody like Boy want to join on that project, the DJs at the radio stations and the programs themselves. I believe that the fusion, the way it is now, I'm, I'm guessing that five, ten years, you know, is going to be a lot more urban, pop culture, but very Latin influence. It's going to be a lot easier because that's the future, that's what they're listening to. And you know, us as we get, you know, growing up and influenced that way, we're, we're getting, um, you know, as we get, I guess, elder, older, you know, we're gonna have an understanding.